I don't like it. Hi everyone, it's Isha Elise and I'm coming to you today with a review on a new wig that just dropped and I'm so excited about it. So this is a wig by Zuri. It's the Diva Lace Bomb Butterfly Lock. It's a lace front with a hand tied part and it is a knotless braided wig um, with a four by five inch free part. I have her in a F1B30 and this is new. So I saw this, um, I'm in a wig group on Facebook and I saw this wig. So forgive me for my, my Snoop Dogg braids here, but I had to have this wig. I'm going out of town this weekend and I'm so excited to have it. I had my hair in some butterfly locks last year. And when I did, uh, it, it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. And I was like, the only time I'll ever be able to wear this is if I get a wig. And so I feel like that this is literally perfect. This is her out of the box. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything. And one thing that I can definitely say is it feels so natural. Oh my goodness, it feels natural. Let me see. Got your baby hairs. Lace. Um, it's not a lot of lace. Yes, me. It's not ear to ear. It does stop right about like ear on me. Two combs on the side, one comb in the back, and then your adjustable straps. <laughs> Y'all. This is a lot of hair. First of all, I feel like the part looks really good. Let me say that. I do feel like the part looks really, really good. I tried to move it over some. Very thick. So what I think I'm gonna do is go in and cut some of them out. And I know that probably sounds like a bad idea, but I need this to be a little bit thinner than what's going on here because this is this this is a lot okay this is a lot of hair um so therefore it's really full but it's more full up here than back here um i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like in the back also i'm a little annoyed because look it has like these little black strings on it. I don't know what this is doing. I don't know if this is keeping them in place or what. So therefore then I'm afraid to like cut it off because I'm like, I don't want the wig to fall apart because I need the wig. This is a mess. <laughs> so you got the lace that goes from up here to back here where my finger is. And then once you start getting into the back, it looks like this. This is the, I guess, braided hair. And you just kind of put it on there. I don't know what to say, but I can say that you have to be patient. You have to manipulate things. You have to take your time with things. So therefore, I'm not just going to write it off. I spent too much money to write this off okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna manipulate it and i'll be back so as you all can see i just went ahead and started cutting some of them out i could not find my scissors at the time so i did use an eyebrow razor and then right after this i ended up finding my scissors so i'm just going through and just taking some of them out here i am just going through and looking to see if they match and then just going back in and cutting some more out trying to look at it from different angles and i'm just 
not sure about this um i was trying not to cut the colored ones out because there's not that many of them in there but if it's gonna even out the wig i will do it so you can see here that it's still kind of thick on one side and thin on the other side um i did start going through and cutting those black strings out because they were really bothering me they were holding down the pieces so i'm not sure what that was about but i did go through and just kind of cut those out so now i'm going through on the other side and guys i am still cutting this is a very full wig and it just got a lot going on i don't know if my head is too small or if the wig is just too full you can see that it is really still full on one side even though i kind of cut it and also you're going to be pulling a lot of snags like it's just i guess that's what comes with this type of hair but it was definitely a lot so i'm just still going to go through and just cut some more out i'm trying to do the best that i can with this wig I honestly really like this wig. Make up my mind about it. It's like really cool. I don't know. It's spooky. I don't know. This just <laughs> this is a lot going on. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I'm trying to get it to glow on me, but I'm not a fan.
heard y'all. I'm coming back to y'all with a very honest review. I do not want the wig. I like the concept of the wig, but I do not like the wig in itself. Um, it's just too, it's too much um, going on. Too much going on. It sheds very much. Like, look at this. This looks loose if you ask me, but I guess not. I don't know. It's just a lot going on. And like I said, I have not glued this wig down only because of the simple fact that I need to be able to easily accept um change my wig on my trip. I'm not digging it at all. But you want to know something also? It could just not be the right wig for my face. Um, it might not fit my frame. It might not fit my bone structure. I wouldn't deter anybody from buying it. It just ain't for me. I feel like this is the most tolerable style I could get. So yeah, it's a no for me. It is a no for me. I'm so mad that I spent all my money. Because it's just too thick and too bulky. Um, it just has a lot going on. I wish it was like thinner like this. Like if it was a thinner wig, cool. But this is just, it's a no for me, guys. I love the color though. And for the sake of my trip and for the sake of the money that I spent, I am probably going to try to make it work. Today is the big day for me. It's the day that I am going ahead and heading out of town. So this is the look that I came up with the wig. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and wear it like that. I'm actually on the way to the store to buy some tighter hair bows so that I can tighten these just a little bit more. But this is the look. This is how I'm going to wear this wig today. It's, it's still, I guess, has kind of grown on me using this style here. Um, but as far as like wearing it down or anything, no. And then also I kinda sorta wanna cut these. They're kinda long. Um, I did wanna say there is like a, a hump here, like just a bunch of airspace here. So I kinda took a bobby pin to kinda push it down. Tresemme, the extra hole, sorry. My press ons are in the way. Um, Tresemme Extra Hold. Oh, it's Freeze Hold. Mega Firm Control. Um, usually people use Got To Be. Tresemme was a little bit cheaper. I won't even lie to you. It was a little bit cheaper. Um, final thoughts. The wig is big head friendly because as I said, there is a gap up here. This is it. I feel like this style looks good, looks decent. Like I said, I sprayed some Tresemme right here up in um, the part. I didn't put any type of makeup on it or anything. Just left the part as it is. But um, I, I, I like this look. Um, as far as wearing it down, that's not happening with me. Um, but this right here, I can I can get with this. I can get with this. Um, overall. If you want to purchase something, it's completely up for you, up to you. If you like love updo styles like this with the faux locks and um, butterfly locks and things, I would say go for it. I think something more versatile would be ideal. Um, so therefore, if I wanted to wear it down, if I wanted to wear it to the side, if I wanted to wear it up, um, something more versatile would be for me. And um, I feel like with this wig, you can kind of sort of only wear it up because it's so bulky when it's down so um realistically it's really just all up to what you want how you view things and what it is that you're going for so for me this does match the vision that i was kind of sort of going for um with the outfit that i have on so i mean for me right now it is working and then for the next two days i'm gonna have different styles so 
that's just me, Miss Switcheroo. So overall, I probably get this wig like a 4.5 out of 10, literally. Um, that's just what it is that I'm thinking that I would do. Get a wig a 4.5 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, I wanted to mention, I, I was going through and editing the video and it seemed like my attitude were, or my personality was just so dull and boring. And I just want to apologize to y'all about that. And I think it's because when I recorded the video, I did it when I got off work. So I do apologize to y'all about that. But I'm about to go ahead. I'm about to head on my trip. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in.